I picked this up at the July 2019 Jacktown Flea Market. I really wanted two little screwdrivers in the four for a dollar bin and this one was just a throw in. The handle said shockless, but it was cracked. The tip looked to be in good condition though. I figured the handle was made out of some kind of rubber, so I clamped it in my vise to cut it off with a razor. When I tightened the vise, the handle just shattered. Another crunch in the vise and I had the shaft completely separated from the handle. I sanded the shaft and tip by hand down to 600 grit and polished with some super fine steel wool. I've had this piece of one inch cherry dowel for years. I forget what I originally bought it for, but it seemed like a good candidate for my screwdriver handle. After drilling the hole, I epoxied the shaft with JB Weld. Between the splines on the shaft and the glue, I felt like I had a secure fit. I like to mix epoxy on blue masking tape. I got the stirring sticks at the craft store. I keep the tape around long enough to make sure the epoxy cured properly. At this point, I was ready to shape the handle. Ah! No, Chuck, we don't have a lathe. Here's the wood turning rig I made for my drill press. I last used this on Scout Crafter's wood mallet challenge. The screwdriver shaft is in the drill chuck. The tail stock is 5 16 all thread sharpened to a point. The tool rest is half inch all thread. My set of lathe chisels were made from old screwdrivers. Ah! It was at this point that Chuck really had his doubts about this project. First I turned down the section for the furl. Then I started shaping the handle. I had a rough idea of the shape I wanted. My improvised tools did a good job shaping the wood. I used some coarse sandpaper on a dowel stick to smooth the curves. I ended up making another tool for the next step. I used this tool to add the grooves in the handle. While it was still in the drill press, I sanded the handle smooth. After turning the butt of the handle down as far as I dared, I used a saw to cut it free. I put it back in the drill press to round it over with a rasp and sandpaper. I used a 38 Special shell case for the furl. The first step was to knock out the primer. Then I drilled out the primer hole. I put the case in my hand drill and used my sander to shape it.
While I had it in the drill, I used some Scotch-Brite to polish out the sanding lines. Then I cut it to length. I finished the cherry with Waco Danish oil. I needed a break from the high gloss true oil finish I had been using lately. I had to work the Danish oil into the grooves. I used some quick set clear epoxy to glue the ferrule in place. I waxed the handle using the drill press to buff. Chuck! Ah! Flitz it! That's right, I polished the shaft and furl with flitz. I'm really happy with how this little screwdriver turned out. It was very satisfying shaping the handle on my makeshift wood turning rig with my improvised chisels. The brass shell case worked out well as the furl. Even Chuck had to admit that I got good results with my ugly chisels. Steel wood and brass is my favorite combination of materials. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. So I was outside doing my artsy nature photos and look who I found right next to the tree. Hey little buddy. Hi. Can you say ribbit? Ribbit? Oh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Can you say Where'd you go? Are you still there? There you are. Hi. Thanks for playing.